He has been in a ton of films that we all love and for certainly sports fans the rookie any given sunday uh also everybody's all american and breaking away is one of the most beautiful films uh, of all time and it's uh, obviously about cycling as well uh this man uh is also got his own podcast called the denissance which premiered uh earlier in april and airs every single wednesday with a new with a new uh, uh episode and uh, the episode that becomes available today is with Albert Pujols. He is the host of the Dennis Sons, Dennis Quaid, back here on the show. How are you, Dennis? Great. How you doing? I'm doing fine. Um, how do you know Albert Pujols, Dennis? Let me just jump in right here on this. Yeah, I've had a very lucky life, Rich. I've, I've you know, been able to, to meet a lot of very interesting people in my life. Yes. And uh, those are the people I have on the Dennis Sons. Uh, Albert Pujols, I did a movie in the Dominican Republic last year, and uh, that's where he's from. He has a, a foundation uh, where he uh, helps support and improve the lives of people who are uh, living in what they call bates in the sugarcane fields there. And uh, I decided to get involved uh, because he was the job that he was doing. And, of course, I've always been a fan of him for, from baseball and uh, so I went to one of his foundation uh, galas uh, last year, and uh, we we became uh, acquaintance friends, and uh, you know, the relationships has developed. And I I thought he'd be a very interesting guest. And uh, give me a little preview. What do you what do you guys talk about? Do you talk about a possibility of a baseball season, or do you just talk talk about yes, life in general? Uh, okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, the about whether there is going to be baseball and when it's going to be and uh, what it's going to be and how this has affected him. Uh, he's, uh, you know, uh, could arguably arguably be the uh, oldest guy in baseball uh, right now out there playing and uh, what it's going to do to his season and, uh, you know, the, uh, the records that uh, he would be able to achieve. That's and right. uh, just it's, you know, and he's just a Hall of Fame guy. That's as person uh, to begin with, and uh, he's a shoe in for the Hall of Fame. That's for sure. No doubt about that. I mean, and he, as you point out, a, a Hall of Fame person. Uh, do you want to tease? Does he does he think that there's going to be a baseball season, Dennis? Uh, everybody wants to still uh, think that way. Everybody's you know, training that way right. uh, at, at home or whatever they, they can do. You know, they were, uh, preseason, uh, in Arizona when they just sent everybody home. Right. It's like how disheartening for all of us. You know, um, I've heard talk about that, uh, they were, uh, may do uh, a season of baseball, but in Arizona, yep. all the teams would be in Arizona or in uh, in Florida, and there would be no. Uh, they they would disregard the National League and American League and basically play each other geographically. I think. Have you, is that what you've heard? As yeah, well? I mean, it, it again. It's just so up in the air, and and man, I. I it's funny because, you know, uh, I'm watching on ESPN every now and then. They, they've got South Korea's uh, baseball league, uh, which has been able to be uh, up and running. It's not nearly as large a country, obviously, and not nearly as large uh, of a league as Major League Baseball. But I'm just seeing the pitches and the crack of the bats and the swings and the I home know. runs. And I'm like, oh, my God. I, I like to get yeah, for I granted. I yesterday, too, and I just shot of adrenaline went through. That's right. I felt <laughs> the same thing, too, Dennis. You know what I mean? And I know you're a golfer, too, and it's possible to get – golf back in in june and i know that uh tiger and phil are going to team up with brady and uh peyton manning in a couple of weeks and i i I, yeah. I i i can't wait for that possibility too right you know we're are they gonna do like a skins game is that what they're gonna it looks do? like it it looks like it yeah you know yeah. So Dennis Quaid here on the Rich Eisen Show. The Denison's podcast can be gotten where all podcasts are, are gotten. And it's been out there since the early part of April. And it runs all the way through the early part of June. You can check him out with Albert Pujols uh, today. Are you going to have Lawrence Taylor on there? Are you going to get LT on your podcast, uh, Dennis? Hey, that's, that's a really good idea. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for bringing that up. <laughs> <laughs> a very, very interesting guest. What? LT uh, you know, I did uh, any given Sunday with uh, yes. LC and and also Jim Brown. It might be a, hey, how about a reunion show with that? That oh. would be that would be good. And Jamie Fox. Yes, that would be uh, good. What my memory of of doing that movie would be uh, 
every morning because Oliver Stone didn't really like to start shooting until kind of around noon <laughs> at that time. <laughs> <laughs> but we all had to be ready before. But yeah. uh, so it got to be where uh, at dawn we would meet at Doral. We shot it, you know, down near Miami. We'd meet at Doral. The foursome was uh, myself, Jim Brown, LT, and uh, Jimmy Woods. And uh, we would go out and do battle uh, on the golf course uh, before we went to work. It was. It was. I uh, had such a great time shooting that movie. Well, maybe uh, Oliver Stone was told by Lawrence Taylor, "I'm not available until noon." I mean, that could have been it. You know, it could have been LT just telling well, him what time. Lawrence day. Taylor is available anytime. <laughs> he would show up. He would show up in like, uh, you know, just like house clothes, you know, shorts. Uh, kind of like gym shorts and flip flops, right? And uh, wear two gloves, and uh, you know. If, it doesn't matter how much sleep he'd had. He could hit the ball, man. Yeah, that guy was a competitor. Who's the best? So he had the greatest offensive player and the yeah. greatest defensive player, yeah. arguably, of all time. That's true. Uh, out there, uh, <laughs> out there, the golf course. out there, teeing off. Who, who is the best? Who's the best athlete player you've ever played with, Dennis? From maybe uh, athlete player? Yeah, yeah, and golf. Uh, as far as golfing, yes, sir. That you've ever been uh, paired up with. Well, yeah, I think you know LT was LT was he was really good. I mean, it's, he was like a six you know, coming out there, and uh, uh, he just he could get it done. There's such a competitor. Jim Brown at that time was actually really good as well, really really good. Well, I mean, when Jim could, but uh, 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 Troy Aiken was uh, was excellent, and uh, yeah, that's quarterbacks. Um, yeah, and. Uh, yeah, but a number of them. Yeah, I'm sure. Baseball he, players make it. Baseball players, especially pitchers, make uh, really good golfers because they don't they don't have to work every day. That's right. <laughs> every fifth day they get out there uh, and four days in between. I mean, that's why, you know, the, the, the great uh, Atlanta Braves staff of Maddox, Smoltz, Glavin, they're apparently they were all scratch golfers. You know what it all comes down to? It. Mm -hmm. Um, hey man, the the rookie is such a beautiful film, Dennis. From your from your uh, sports filmography, and uh, that's a movie where I have cried on airplanes watching that. You know, I've, like literally, I start crying. I've watched the rookie on an airplane, and I just start crying about the story about Jim Morris, a teacher, getting a shot uh, in the major leagues. Um, what was it like meeting him? Uh, he was on the set every day, and. Uh, that's what I mean about my lucky life, the people I've really been able to really get to know. In fact, he's a guest on my on uh, my podcast, Fantastic. The Renaissance. Uh, I had him on. Uh, we did the interview a couple of weeks ago, and it'll be it'll be coming out here within the next few weeks. And again, we we talked about baseball, and we talked about you know just kind of dived a, l a little deeper into into uh, you know what, his life after the rookie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when the, uh, after the movie came out, he's such an inspiration. And was was it a true story that, uh, or that was just a Disneyfied version? Uh, that you, that was, you, well, you, you, or, well, well, in terms of going out there and using uh, a side of the road speedometer to test uh, how fast he threw, um, is that was that was that a real? Well, that that. Yeah, that never happened. Uh, <laughs> that was great, though. I love it, though, Dennis. That's I love it. <laughs> that that never happened with the you know when it came up as a seven when it should have been a nine. Right. I think. That was like, and uh, it's also true that uh, I never put myself on a on a radar gun uh, when I was you, during the whole film. Come on, I just didn't you didn't want to be disappointed. You, I did not want to be disappointed. So how fast did you throw? To look like I could do it. How fast could you throw then? Come on now. What'd you touch? I don't know. 80? I never put myself on a radar gun, so I'm going to say 90 miles. Atta boy. <laughs> Damn straight, you yeah, threw well, 90. You touched probably, 90. I probably would have been lucky to be really be in the 70s. Let's I, put it that way. I bet you touch 90. No doubt about it. What's the film you? Uh, what's the film you get the most, Dennis, when you're out and about, or when? What I'm out and about? Um, well, the rookie is right up there. That's for sure. And uh, I'm, I'm kind of my career is kind of multi generational at this point. You know, that's because of I have a film where people were kids in a particular generation. The Parent Trap is huge, mm -hmm. of course, and uh, 
uh, Inner Space is uh, surprising, like surprisingly the number one movie uh, that I get as far as worldwide. No I've kidding. In, uh, I've been in the you know backwoods of India, and I heard somebody say Inner Space. <laughs> <laughs> no so it, kidding. Uh, yeah, it's it's surprising. And breaking away, though, um, you know, when we talk sports movies, um, that kind of gets lost, I'll be honest with you, because maybe it's not just about sports. It just involved a sport, and it involved... Yeah. Uh, but what, what was... Like Kareem Abdul-Jabbar put that uh, in his top five sports movies of all time. No kidding. Uh, but and, uh, but uh, it's a... That movie, uh, I watched it... Uh, couple of weeks ago because we're doing um a reunion with uh, all the breaking away uh way um no kidding but for charity yeah, or one of those one of those zooms for charity or something like that to fight yeah and well it's great. for the podcast as okay well, cool just to, just to get together and uh That's amazing uh and uh hopefully lance armstrong is going to be the moderator <laughs> well that would be good well, dennis that's not a bad get i mean yeah that that'd be great. I'll de- I'll definitely yeah, check and, that uh, out. But that was uh, that that movie had such charm. It was you know it was written by a first generation Czech immigrant. Uh, it was directed by an Englishman, and it's such a a great American like middle of heart of America Americana story that uh, has such charm to it and st- still holds up. It's beautiful. It is. I'm glad I brought it up with you. Hey, Dennis, I appreciate the call, man. Congrats on your pod. Uh, you know, uh, if, you, if you're going to continue doing it, uh, I'd love to uh, complete a home and home. You've been so kind to come on my show in person and also uh, here on the phone. Uh, if you ever you ever need a guest, I'll, I'll be more than happy to oh, I, pitch I in there, really man. I appreciate that, man. I I'd really would. Uh, I'd like to dive into your life away from the show. I'm, I'm all in. I'm all in. I'm not yeah. that. I'm not that terribly interesting. I'm not like Lawrence Taylor, like <laughs> teeing off the top of a Camaro or something like that. I mean, I, I, I can't tell stories like that, but I'll, I'll try and compete. Well, I've always enjoyed being on a show, Rich, and uh, uh, thanks for still being there. Thanks, you know, brother. You're going down to the studio and, and and keeping it going, and we're gonna all get through this, and I think we're gonna be even stronger for it. I I hope so, and I believe so too. Thanks for the call, Dennis. You take care of yourself. That's uh, all right. God bless you. Right back at take you. That's care. Dennis Quaid. Have check out day. the you bet. Same you. That's the check out the Dennisons podcast. Albert Pujols, his latest guest. Fabulous.